Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to my Gore Plays for a Hataful Boyfriend, which is a amazing game. I haven't played it, but I'm assuming it is because there's Boyds. So let's do it. Let's just get into it. No, nothing. Let's just go. Welcome to Saint P P Pigeon Nation. Pigeon Nations. Okay, please enter your name. Okay, uh. Go. Alright, where? Okay, oh. Next. Oh. And your first name. Oh, well, it's Gore. Wait, am I am I a guy or a girl? I guess I could choose. Uh, sh I'll be Gorlina because I want to be a girl. <laughs> La and your last name? Uh, uh Gorlina the third. <laughs> oh, the the, the third. <laughs> the, the, the the third. There you go. Next, next, please is Goralina the third. Okay, yes, I typed that. That's it, it, it's good. Yes, Hotful Boyfriend includes a vi powerful visual allowing even the bird, but even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Configuration saved. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game of the year. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and curricula and facilities. I can't read. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. Okay. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> birds who want to study the arts and the sciences even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Damn fucking straight. The teaching staff and student body are both made of a diverse blend of birds with different backgrounds and species. It's like I'm selling everybody watching this on this game. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story, filled with tragedy. Not every day I see you, you rushing along like this. Oh my god. My crush. Ryatu wrote him. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Goralina. Overslept? Oh, dude, that's the prettiest man I've ever fucking met in my life. This rock dove is named Ka Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Oh, well, that's good. Gotta have that. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. That's a uh, disturbing. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. <laughs> Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun! <laughs> Change personalities just like that. Alright, Hataful Boyfriend. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. <laughs> By the pigeon and for the pigeon. First term. Alright, time to make love. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. <laughs> Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Er, er, I'm Nanaki Kujiaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math. And murder, and physics, and also some other things. Z, Z, Z. It, wait, it, the teacher's sleeping? All right, sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> Whoa! Now that is a gorgeous bird. This quill is Nanaki Kuziaki. He's a famously support. Math professor. 
I had heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. <laughs> Even birds! <laughs> uh, ah, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? <laughs> Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragan- Shir- Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, baby. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, I just I just remember I didn't get to choose if I was a male or female. Maybe it's ambiguous. Eh. Oh well, I guess that's that. <laughs> What's the point? You're right. I don't have a job to do. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want it. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, I thought it would be a girl. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we all turn into ku ku kulaks and disent. I'm guessing those are birds. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Sherigan? Sherigan Labelle Sucky. Su sucky. Oh my god. They all have the same hair. Comb that back. Jesus, how do you even see out of your left eye? It seems this fantail is sure again to him. Fe uh, his feathers would make any birdie proud. Jesus. He's pretty stuck up, but then trans transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Oh, I'm going to make friends out of that guy. Pigeon. Suco <sighs> he sits down, glaring daggers at that guy and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Ooh. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Alright. Let's set up for an adventure. Where is everybody? Or everyone? Or, I'm sorry, every birdie. <laughs> everyone. Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh my god. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner. A dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan. But apparently they're everywhere in America. Uh oh. We're gonna get some racism? Um, <laughs> or birdism? Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Oh shit. He's the outcast. Not really. Pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, Hurry up and return them already! Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. I don't think he asked you that. Were you waiting for them all summer? Ellipses. He suddenly returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm the third. I'm the third Goralina. <laughs> I forgot in Japan they always say their first. I mean last name first. I guess. Uh, whatever. The third Goralina, a sophomore. What about you? Ellipses. Y your. Ellipses. Ne him. Ne Negeki Fujishira. Freshman. Oh my god. He's so shy. I'm gonna fuck that. <laughs> Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. This is weird. Anyway, leave me alone. <laughs> He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Jeez. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakaya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be gone now. Hey, wait just a... Oh, you left. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, 
Sak <laughs> Sakazaki Yoya is Sakaya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Exclamation point? You heard that the whole you heard the whole yeah, you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakaya? Sa Sakia's? No, I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. I I I I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Exclamation point. Haha, -ha, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. Oh, I guess I am a lady. Alright. I guess it makes sense. I'm trying to get a boyfriend. Unless I'm, you know, a gay pigeon. Or actually, I'm not a pigeon at all. I forgot. I'm a human, which is, makes it even weirder. And I'm trying to get a fucking bird boyfriend. Okay, but that there wasn't too cool. Oh, damn. They all look the same, though. <laughs> they do, except that, except the bird I just met before. He was a little different. This fantail pigeon is Sakaz Sakazaki Yoya. Yo yo, an upperclassman. Ooh. I never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. You're Goralina, right? Uh, how, how did you know? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. What? The genuine article in the flesh. He is? Exclamation point. Exclamation point? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami. Mon ami adieu. It's a French bird. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about yo 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 yo. Though, probably a twisty business. The character's a dumbass. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's him? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Oh no, we had to get a heart transplant. Now that I think about it, he always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains. Well, the curtains don't even go to the floor, so... That really doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. The curtains for the beds. Never mind. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. <sighs> you... It, ry, Ryut? H hey! <laughs> no reply. <laughs> the infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike him, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Whoa, let's get fucked up. Yo, they got a skeleton face one. And they got a bunch of bird ones. That's probably good for birds. I don't know if that's going to do good for me. Et Ethel par trif locio benzine. What do these even do? Care to find out? Oh, no. Oh, my God. D -d 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 doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No, no thanks. Oh, fuck. Shoo, I want, I want my... This portrait is... I want... Shoo, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergil or even worse things. And I and I never even heard him call come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Rayata Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Hmm. Yeah, oh, him? He's already gone. Oh, why did he come find me before going home? Oh, that was just me saying that to myself. So sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that e den of evil. 
He's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always fun, knee, watching the birds hop around. That's a little mean. It's like uh, watching a disabled kid try to run. It's fucked up. That's real messed up. I really, I don't like your character. I think their club ha room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Oh wow. Cuckoo and shit. This is no pudding for a man. Coo. Okasan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. What? Wait. Why is he going cuckoo? He's dancing around a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Oh, he's the only one that's actually a bird. <laughs> this is Okasan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly, supposedly, uh, supposedly he's a fantail uh, pigeon. I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool. Okasan has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coo. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coo, but this is no pudding. Hoisted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, shot by those who he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo. Spare a jest, young lady. Cook. Uh, oh, Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo. They'll ruin the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Coo! <laughs> Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! <laughs> and he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. What the fuck am I playing? I don't know. I like it. Uh, it's cute. Real cute. Anyway, um, er, I think we. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. <sighs> oh. As we all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool. Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Sherigan? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you when you were admitted. What? Nepotism? Ho! Don't we get a vote? Get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me! You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. All this freaking exposition. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. I get to cho choose. Join the... Oh, here we go. First choice. Uh... I don't want to join track team because then I have to keep saying cuckoo. Student council. Library, I could talk to that depressing fuck, but I don't want to. Let's do student council. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Alright, I sure will. Don't worry about that, buddy. Whoa, did it just skip four days? Today's an elected day, what should I do? Attend. Attend. Math class, gym class, music class. Huh. Let's see. I got a whisk, I got vit, and I got cha in the top right. I don't know what any of that means, but uh. <sighs> let's take, uh, you know, let's do math. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Shit, yeah, I'm a smart bird or a human. Goralina leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Nice. Six. Cool. Cool shit. Cool shit, baby. Oh, yeah. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakiya and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? I like how my voice for every character changes every two seconds. 
Hi, Sakia. So you had the, this done? Huh. This room used to be filthy, but better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. Have you decided which position you will take? Oh, that was him saying that. I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Whoa. Calm your feathers, boy. Boyo. I will snap that little pretty neck of yours. Aren't you Japanese too? Yeah, that too. Do not mock me. I am. Fr oh, he's French. I am French. A French noble bird. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the vice president, treasurer, clerk. I don't. Fucking vice president. What, what, what does the treasurer and the clerk do? If I'm vice president, that means I'm not, I'm not as good as him. But I, I wouldn't be as good as him either way. <laughs> Can I be president? I'll be vice president. Fuck it. I don't care. You wish to be my right wing? Ha ha! I get it because you have me. You got a nerve. I like that. Oh, right. you've got a nerve. I looked at it. I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. And so I became vice president of the student council. What a good day. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. This is your home? You're under, like, you're in a cave. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some you don't you, you and go to sleep. Udon, I don't know. Today is the hike. We've stepped, we stepped, we stopped for a break on a hillside. We should, who should I talk to? Talk to? Talk to? Oh, I don't even remember any of these people. I know Ryota is my friend. Soki is the guy I'm working with now. San, I think, is the library guy? I think? No, San is the bird, right? No, San is that shitty... San is the bird. San is the bird. No, San is the uh, brother. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just going to... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, get to talk about it. Let's see how it look. Go, mine, Ah, fuck it. Just pick anybody. Unacceptable. In a temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this? I'm on foot. It's a hike. Sukiya, Su Sukoya. You have to walk. For what purpose? As exercise? Foolishness. Exercise is for peasants. The guy's French. <laughs> Keep forgetting that. No, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over there. Don't we have a nice view? Sukiya looks like he still has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. What a dick. Today is an elected day. What should I do? Well, let's find out. Attend. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, okay. it's good. It's game. I'm allergic to good games, I guess. Oh, all right. Uh, let's do gym class this time. It's too hot. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Koo! It is hydration time. Oh, Okasan wants to go swimming! Okay, we're swimming, I guess. Coralina leveled up. Vitality increased by 5. That's not really much, considering I have 800. What the hell is this Vitality stuff going to do for me? Err, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the culture, cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Koo! Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sokoya? You can't possibly be ex... ex oh, fuck, it's him. You can't possibly expecting me to run in some risk, can you? <laughs> it is a sports festival. Is there any an event that doesn't involve running? Tennis. That's a sport, isn't it? How about, well, I guess you run in that too. How about being a cheerleader? Oh, no. The general, in other words, very well, leave it to me. Huh? Um, I don't think that's also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use 
help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race. Okasan's running the marathon, and Suki is a cheerleader. Yoya might be running the first A10. <laughs> what should I do? I have to think about it. Oh, and think you will, young lady. Think you will. Today is a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the. Go to the. Okay. Three-legged. Oh wow, There's five choices. Uh, I could just go to the library. Meet up with that fucking depressing fuck. All right. Three-legged race with my boy. Marathon with uh, cheerleaders. Let's go to cheerleaders. We already got a good thing going on with what's his name. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sokia and a brass band. That's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a label. Sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your order, sir. Very well. <laughs> Wait, that's him. Very well, begin. Sometimes he, he goes in and out of his French accent. <laughs> he, he's, he's weird. And so the band began, began to play. I can hear it. Dance. People can't see. Where did you get these uh, people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Oh, um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip, and I'll be la the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes! Sukiya is conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the love bell style? Ha ha ha! We're just building a bond with these people. The first barrier for all students who make it this far: the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. The third. That's me. Yes. Yeah. What's up? Um, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes. Not too. Mm, Nope, sorry, you did badly. <laughs> no. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. I'll f kill that little bird bastard. With the festival of the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves, will s doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on, homie? Salutations, Goralina. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. <laughs> he gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. B Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but you know, I've heard Brian, too. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. You want you want you want me you want me to actually do it? I'll do it. I'll do it in real life. Yeah, let's look. Ah, I'll do it. Later. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. A doom, Gorlina. All right, so that about wraps it up, I think. I better hurry back to class. All right, let's see what happens real quick. This is the last thing we'll see. Hello, every bur- Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Uh-oh. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves under wings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? <laughs> Okasan and Sakiya are- I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. How do you not notice that? Well, well, how how do the birds fight like that? How how do they do this? They're supposed to be brothers. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened in Ryota? Oh, <sighs> Sakeo was making fun of Okasan. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding. He and he said and said and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible. I mean, Okasan is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Okasan kind of went for the jugular, and, uh, well, it is blood everywhere, and uh, we need to get rid of Okasan's body. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, yeah, so anyway, pick it, pick him up. Throw him away. Please. 
Ooh, my nose is getting stuffed. You tried to pull them apart, and Okasan used weak wing attack on you? Yup. You're, you're our only hope now, Gorlina. <laughs> Cuckoo! Okasan will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me... You tell me to take back my word? I shall not. I, a mongrel like you, has an even right to speak to me. Koo! Okasan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Sit down and eat a cake. That's what I do. Side with Sokia, side with Okasan. Scold them both. Man, you know what? You guys are being ridiculous. Okasan, calm down. Koo! Do you think Okasai can calm down after such insults? Well, Mongru, the third is on my side. You too, Sakiya, you have acted immaturely. Well, what? No more fighting, you two. Take this for Ryota! I grab them both and hurl them out the window into the courtyard. Stay out there and think about what you've done. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> hmm, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I feel like I'm shining. Alright, so anyway, that was a uh, Octoful Boyfriend. That was a good little, uh, that's, some, that's some good shit. So, um, yeah, there you go. That was Octoful Boyfriend. Uh, I'm really liking it. I might continue it in the future. Just, you know, might as well. Um, <laughs> so, look forward to maybe some more Octoful Boyfriend in the future. Maybe. Maybe. So, anyway, uh, there you go. That was Octoful Boyfriend. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, and, uh, yeah. yeah good shit. Good shit. Thank you and uh, goodbye.